Let me explain this trip a little bit as I take a walk through the outskirts of Hoi An. I've already checked into my hotel, but the room is not ready, which is clear because it's only uh, half past 12. So I first took the train from Hue to Da Nang because there is no train station here in Hoi An. And the train is well known because it is really a very scenic train ride. the mountains as you have seen probably and uh, you can you can see the ocean and it's really a nice train drive and the whole experience in the train uh, was uh, very good only the process of uh, getting the train tickets getting into the train this was actually the first time when I thought okay this is a socialist country because it very much reminded me to experiences I had in Eastern Europe taking public transportation. So what was the issue? First of all, when buying the ticket, uh, the lady, okay, she didn't, she didn't speak German. But anyway, even so, she, she could have helped me uh, in buying the ticket, but uh, somehow she, she didn't consider it her job and uh, wasn't really, really helpful. So I told you in my previous video that I had to, I had to ask this tour guide and so, and gave him some money and he managed to buy the ticket. So the other thing is the waiting room in the train station uh, was somehow, I, I didn't like it for some reason. It was full of flies. So actually, I, I didn't notice any large amount of flies and mosquitoes here in Vietnam so far, except in this, um, in this waiting room. And then you couldn't just get onto the platform from the waiting room, you had to wait in the waiting room and so on. So, this whole process was not such a great experience, but I, I mean, it was okay. Uh, you might have wondered why I was wearing a mask in the train. So, this was only due to politeness because uh, the lady on the on the seat next to me also was wearing a mask so I thought okay I, I also put it on and it was okay so all in all it was a really nice train ride by the way the trains here have air condition which is nice uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a window seat, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to show you that much footage. Okay, so then I arrived at the train station in Da Nang. Da Nang, by the way, is quite a large city, over a million inhabitants. This is Da Nang railway station and actually not sure where to go, I think. I think you just gotta go over there. Yeah, that seems to be the right direction. So just take your back and go over.
Okay, this looks more like a railway station. There is the exit. And I had to go another about 30 kilometers to Hue, where I am now. And I first planned to take to take a bus or a shuttle. Um, then this uh, motorbike taxi driver came up to me. I took a motorbike taxi. You on your left side. Yeah. Yeah? Your left uh, side. You hold okay. out over me. You hold out over me first. Look me. Okay. Me. Ah, no problem. I, I have this camera. Ah, got camera. Okay. Okay. Good. So let's see how this works out. So my back. Actually, I thought my bag was much too big for, <laughs> for a motorbike, but yeah. guys, there's no problem. Let's see. And offered me a ride to Hoi An for quite a decent price. So it was 150, which is about 6 euros, for a uh, 30 kilometer. Um, motorbike ride. Um, quite okay and a new experience. I can recommend it. I don't know how safe it is but I, at least I didn't feel really unsafe. So the, the reason why I didn't even think of uh, taking a motorbike is because I thought that my, my bag is much too large um, so that they cannot transport it with a motorbike but said no problem and actually it was no problem. So when you look around you, you, you see people uh, transporting much larger items on motorbikes. I think it's a 25 kilometer ride. No, 30. 20? 30. 30. Okay. And I'm very sad. I booked in a uh, rider from now 25 here. I go anywhere in Vietnam. Okay. So you're a good driver? I'm a very good driver. <laughs> After uh, halfway to stop in something, you did many review. Go with me. Yeah. After that, if you want, I recommend for you one day tour or two day tour. Uh, no, when I'm you know when I'm in Hoi An, I will I will rent a bicycle. <laughs> no, no. I I recommend for you after Hoi An, not Hoi An. Now go to Hoi An, relax. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.
So now here I am in Hoi An, also a quite a touristy place, much smaller than Hue. I think a little bit more chilled, more relaxed, but where I am right now is not really the center. This is the quarter where my hotel is and it is, at least that's what I have been told, it is about 10 minutes to walk from my hotel to the city center. Yeah, quite a nice trip. I still have half a day to explore here in Hoi An. I'm wondering if I'm gonna take, uh, if I'm gonna rent a bicycle, which seems to be quite common here, because there is not, not that much traffic as in these huge cities. And I think I can even rent one at the hotel. So maybe that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe I will even manage to ride with my bicycle to the to the beach. Let's see. Uh, the thing is, tomorrow um, we will not have very good weather. So tomorrow it should be rainy. And I think the most I will be, will be able to do tomorrow is just to explore the town, have some food and so on. are looking really good. I got a single speed bicycle and it's for free. Well, seems to work. I mean there are there are no mountains here so that should be okay. If it isn't maybe I will rent another one tomorrow. Just have to be a little bit Careful, I think. I've been cycling for about a week, especially not with that type of bike. That's fine. Took me only twenty minutes to cycle from my hotel to the beach and there are actually some people swimming here I'm gonna do that probably not tomorrow because the weather is gonna be bad but definitely gonna try it out don't know how cold the water is but for me being a German being accustomed to the Northern Sea should definitely be okay. And it's a nice beach. Didn't see any waste, any garbage floating around in the water. And over there in the distance you can see the skyline of Da Nang and the mountains of the Haiwan Pass. By the way, cycling works perfectly. On the main street there are some bike lanes it's a beautiful landscape with green rice fields, palm trees. And it's completely flat, so that's perfect for that single speed bike. So I currently think I'm not going to rent a mountain bike or something. Okay.
think I'm gonna have a drink. I can already say that Hoi An is another amazing place here in Vietnam and I haven't even seen the town center so far. it for today. Gonna have dinner, relax, maybe do some video editing and see you tomorrow.